The Continental New York City Branch Incident Report February 5th Nikolai, what happened to your face? I tried to offload this car, me and the boys picked it up at Orlilio's, but then Orlilio attacked me. This cannot stand. Get Aurelio on the phone. Already on line one. Aurelio speaking. I heard you struck my boy. Uh, yes sir, uh, I did. And may I ask why? Yeah, well, he stole John Wick's car, sir. And killed his dog. Oh. That's it? You're not gonna do anything? What did I do? It's not what you did, son, that angers me so. It's who you did it to. You mean that fucking nobody? That fucking nobody is John Wick. You seriously fucked up, kid. He once was an associate of ours. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a fucking pencil. It wasn't even a number two. Do you even know how hard it is to find a pencil that isn't number two? Well, I... Alistair, send John Wick back his car, a duplicate version of his dog, and our apologies. The Continental New York City Branch Incident Report July 8th Dad, the trees in the back are on fire! Well, call the fire department, you moron! I did! But they just keep hanging up on me every time I give them the address! Alistair, get the fire chief on the phone. Already on line one. Fire chief, our house is on fire and you refuse to help us. Yes? May I ask why? You had several trees across the property line of a home next door recently purchased by, let's see here, oh, John Wick. Oh. Dad, what the fuck? This fire is the will of John Wick. Who gives a shit about the will of John Wick? I once gave him an impossible task. Deliver a package to LA City traffic during rush hour on a Friday by way of public transportation. He chose a bus. The bodies he buried that day lay the foundation of what we are now. Wait, what? Alistair, let the fire burn. Sell the property. Send John Wick another apology note. The Continental New York City Branch Incident Report August 12th Dad? Mom's upstairs, in bed with some guy. What? Alistair, get my wife on the phone. Already on line one. What? Why would you call? Why not just, just go upstairs? Darling, you're cheating on me in my own home. In my own bed. Yes. And may I ask, with whom? It was John Wick. Oh. Dad. What the fuck are you doing? I once saw John Wick. Jesus, here we go. Build a time machine out of a telephone booth. Go back in time and befriend Genghis Khan Abraham Lincoln in the pure embodiment of death just for fun. That doesn't make any fucking sense, Dad. This man is clearly taking advantage of you due to a reputation that I don't think is real or even possible. Then be quiet, Alistair. Prepare the divorce papers, arrange my wife's wedding to John Wick, set up the honeymoon on an island, Sandy Beach. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talked OJ Simpson into getting a Twitter account. You're welcome. I'm your announcer, Julie. And I'm seriously unsure if I want to live in a world where Jeremy Renner is a country music artist. I'm just coming to grips with Lil Nas X being one. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. I've been waiting months to say this. Avengers was great, Game of Thrones wasn't. And John Wick 3 was the most fun I've had in the theater this year. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. And I'm joined by two guys that love soccer so much to get kicked in the balls regularly. Mm. Goalkeeper Matthew Stewart and the walking red card himself, Justin Polizzi. How are you guys doing? Yep. 
you bring that up, funny story. enough, I, w- I was just talking to somebody on a bus about that. <laughs> okay. About, Tell like, me more. About, about like, getting ball busted. Oh, okay, continue. Using public okay. transportation? <laughs> First off, you're using public no, this was a, no, this was, no, no, this was a work trip. <laughs> oh, ooh, I want to go more. Yeah, we, we were just talking about soccer and getting kicked in the dick and how much would it – how much would you? How far would? How much abuse on your dick would you take? If like it, cash amounts? Yeah, yeah. Who's kicking me though? Who's kicking? Who's kicking me? Alex Morgan. Ooh. What am I getting in return? Yeah. Well, uh, what, I don't know. What's, the, what's, the, what's the opening bid? What's the opening bid here? What's the opening bid? That's something you. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm ten, thinking ten, at least ten, ten G's. Oh, 10 G's kick me all day. <laughs> no, but you, but you have to remember, she's a professional soccer player. No, 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 gonna, I know. She's, she's going to kick me as hard as she can, right? I got two balls. She can only handle one. Uh, oh, man. Whoa, hey, oh, hey. Whoa, hey, oh, hey, by the way. The, uh, now, if you said a juggler. Oh, oh you're dead. <laughs> if, you're a jug- if I'm a juggler right here, I'm right. 10, K, 10 K to get kicked in the balls by a professional soccer player? Yeah. <sighs> like 10- by a woman. By, yeah, by a professional. No, don't, it don't matter. <laughs> it, no, don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. But it could be a flea. More pleasurable. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like Alex Morgan is. You know, she's she's a she's a very attractive lady. She's it doesn't like, matter what she looks like, bro. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> getting kicked in the nuts is still getting kicked in the See, nuts. I don't have I don't have your weird S and M fantasies, Justin, where <laughs> Yes, yeah, harder miss mistress. I have <laughs> an attractive woman is a lot worse, trust me. <laughs> I may know this. <laughs> but first hand knowledge. First oh, foot knowledge. But what if first foot you gotta put your best foot forward. Put, put your best foot forward. <laughs> but no, I've not uh I've not I, I think I take ten K. Because it's one kick, right? As hard as you can. Yeah, it's, what, it's, it's, it, it's one kick. One kick, yep. Front or back? She's kicking for you from the front or the back? She's kicking in the front. She's kicking right in the dick. Oh man! I guess you have to hope for the hopeful miss. Not, not. Miss, I gotta, I gotta like hope maybe... she. I, if she ruptures a testicle, that would. Ooh, that well, would be hey, rough. Well, I mean, that, for a reason. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of mm. people you only have you one. The backup testicle. Is she wearing? Is she barefoot? Is she wearing soccer cleats? No, she's on. The, she's got cleats on. Oh man, I might have that. Maybe maybe twenty k. We're doing 20K. it right. Oh, twenty k. Well, I mean, 20, for, if with cleats rupture, on, bro. if you rupture the testicle, at least you have money to go to the doctor. To but I'm, I probably got to spend all the money to rebuild the testicle. It's like I'm, I, I'm probably, breaking even. Would, I mean, you wouldn't repair it. You probably just have it removed or have like a little like. Uh, I gotta get. I gotta get a prosthetic test. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm Lance Armstrong. <laughs> all of a sudden, well, well, ping pong. You're, you're the new Cheryl Crow. I'm the new Cheryl. Crow. All you want to do is have some fun. <laughs> I like Sheryl Crow. Sheryl Crow, she's, she's, uh, she's pretty good. I haven't seen her since Lance Armstrong uh, and her uh, split uh, split up. You haven't seen her? Like, literally, you haven't seen her? Does she make music anymore? When's the last time you've seen or heard from Sheryl Crow? She was People who are listening to this podcast who are under the age of 25 don't even know who the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> you know you know, our audience is 65 and over. Hey, Justin, who's Sheryl Crow? She did a bond. F- she she did bond? <laughs> as far as back as I know. That's all. That's the only way. Justin, if she had no affiliation with either Batman or Bond, Justin would have no fucking idea who the fuck she is. I mean, even Minnie Driver was in a Bond film. That is very true. She was in Goldeneye. Yeah. She Gold- was the uh, horrible singer. Ro- Robbie Coltrane's girlfriend. I remember that. I found your penis. What was the song she was singing, Justin, for five million dollars? <laughs> she was singing. <laughs> Kick me in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is absolutely correct. Yes. <laughs> hey, ironically, James Bond almost got shot. James Bond almost got shot in a testicle in that very same scene. So it's all, yeah, it's all coming around. Shot in the dick. We, a lot Robbie of Coltrane dick. shoots him in the chi- that shoots the chair. He's like trying to interrogate him or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of dick talk in the beginning of the show. <laughs> always, always. We have been away for quite a while so we're really you enjoyed trying. the anniversary and uh justin uh what did you do justin i was in the hospital you, what, well, what happened to you i had an accident and dislocated quite a few joints on my foot jesus dislocated Christ. some joints yeah did you kick somebody in the balls what's going on here <laughs> no, <I took> a- <laughs> did you kick a, a female soccer player in the groin is that what's I going on because when i got the bill it was past twenty thousand oh. dollars <laughs> see so you should so you're not For anyone that, that doesn't live in america america sucks yeah, and i'll tell you why 
<laughs> Full I have insurance. Really good health insurance. And I, I'm, I'm okay. Don't worry. I'll mm-hmm. be fine. He'll be fine. The foot's fine. He got kicked in the balls uh, financially. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it hurt, it hurt almost as, as bad, if not worse. <laughs> but, you know, of course, you got to go through the whole insurance thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if I didn't have health insurance, I mean, holy shit, I didn't break a bone. I did fracture one bone on the other foot. But um, dislocation over twenty thousand uh, dollars—that's that's quite a rough. And when I got there, you would have better just broke it. Yeah, you snapped the damn thing off. I should have. You want me to tell you the story? Do we remember this? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, we have all we have all day and night. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I had mm. my um, <clears throat> family come out to visit me, mm. and um, you know, tried to break your foot so you didn't have to hang out with them. <laughs> There's drinking involved and what. Oh, the Polizzi. When the Polizzi's get together, the you know. Pol- the Polizzi fucking family. You were oh, you know somebody's throwing something back. And my right mother um, betted me that I, I, I wouldn't jump off my spa. Into the- <laughs> <laughs> it, this is why I love his family. His mom is irresponsible. <laughs> hey, you know what, son? Hey, I bet you won't jump hey, over that building. What the fuck are you doing there? They jump over the fucking pool. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I will. I will jump into that pool. She called you a pussy, um, and you did it. She said, no, you won't, and she called me a pussy. So I said, okay, watch me jump into the pool. And so I jumped into the pool, and the problem is I had had so much of a running jump, and I I had a really great running jump that I went into the middle of the pool where the shower end begins to go up. Oh, you're in the shallows now, huh? (laughs) <laughs> and I popped up and uh, told her, uh, I think we're, uh, I think my foot's fucked. We broke something here, and she laughed. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, did she laugh in your face? My <laughs> mom <laughs> fell on the floor <laughs> laughing as my toes were going different ways. My ankle, oh, oh no, was in a position I've never seen before. So Ow. you try to do a triple Lindy, and uh, you Lindied wrong. So I drove myself to uh, an urgent care that is literally right down the street. Well, your mom laughed as you drove away. Oh, she laughed. No, she's like, you want me to take? I said, no, no. You, you fucking stay here. I'm going to take <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do this myself. I'll take my fucking chances. <laughs> this is my fucking problem. I'll deal with it. So uh, I went to the urgent care. And, of course, the urgent care only has steps. Oh, oh, they, oh, oh they, brilliant. They don't have wheelchair access? They have any wheelchair access, so oh, I don't wow. know about that. It's brand new, so uh, I'm a little concerned. Um, I, I walked in, and the uh, the lady at the, the receptionist was laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing at me? Did, did your mom like call her like ahead of time and be like, hey, so look, my, my son's coming my, in. Do me a my, favor. My, my fucking pussy son's going to walk in. <laughs> I go, I go, I go what, what's your problem? <laughs> so I'm talking to her, and she takes my insurance, and she's doing the whole thing, 40 bucks, boom, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So then I had to fill out the, uh, the paperwork. The, it was an iPad. The paperwork was on an iPad, iPad mini. Ooh. She, she picks it up and goes, sir, you got to fill out more. And she's waving it. <laughs> and I look at her. <laughs> and I said, okay, bring it over. <laughs> and she just keeps waving. Then she gets a phone call and she picks up her Get cell your phone. crippled ass over here by my drag stand. Your, dra- drag your fucking crippled. Drag your broken ass foot over here. <laughs> yeah, she takes a personal phone call on her cell phone. So they put me in. Um, by the way, Michael Keaton comes into the story. Um, Ooh, what? Of course. I come into the back and they come over. This is what we got to do. We're going to have to pop some stuff back in. Da, 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 da. No fuck um, we're going to give you an injection for the pain and give you some. I said, no, no. We're going to pop them in. I got my wallet. I took my wallet out and put it in my mouth. I said, I'm going to bite down on this. You're going to pop them back in because I know what's going to happen. You're going to give me drugs and you're not going to let me drive home. Have you ever seen Lethal Weapon? Because I've seen Lethal Weapon. Let's pop this shit back in so I can go home and have a fucking alcoholic beverage. Hey, can have sex with a South African uh, woman working for a diplomat who kills people. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm not st- Again, I'm thinking, money, money, money. <laughs> so they come over, these, these two girls and the, a guy come over, and he goes, all right, you don't want any, any pain medication i said no let's do this and and i put the wallet in my mouth and started popping them back in 
uh, watching the girls um, uh, slither and discuss. <laughs> and um, you probably look like a fucking badass, so. I know that these guys have been tortured before. <laughs> <laughs> they all leave me <laughs> for a good three hours. Michael Keaton walks over. <laughs> Russian Michael Keaton. Russian Michael. All right. <laughs> you this want to get nuts? Let's yellow. get nuts. <laughs> Look like Michael Keaton. Hello. <laughs> Just a little taller. But he had that Russian accent. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you weigh more than 108. <laughs> And I had the wristband on my arm, the ER wristband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he grabs it. It's got like a barcode and they scan it. Yeah. So they can charge you more. It goes, yeah. I said, <laughs> what are you doing here? I said, oh, this okay. I said, yeah. And I'm looking at him like laughing because yeah, I'm like, it's, like, it's, it's like Michael fucking. Batman. It's fucking Mr. Mom. Is he like, <laughs> act, is he doing some method act, like acting? <laughs> is he trying to nice fucking model. He's in, he's in the new version of Gung Ho. That's yeah, he's gonna go to the Russian version. <laughs> and so he just, like a Russian, like pushes everything aside, Ugh. grabs my ankle, and starts to put pressure. I go, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh what are you doing? You're just okay. <laughs> it's already been fixed. <laughs> they already relocated it. What are you still doing here? <laughs> I go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> this, this, go. we need new person in bed. Everyone's looking at me. I go. What the fuck, Michael Keaton? <laughs> Did he say you made me? I made you first. <laughs> no, he, he was he was perplexed why I called him Michael Keaton, and I can't for for I can't imagine no one ever called him Michael. Keaton. Hey, you, 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 you dance with devil, pale moonlight. <laughs> da 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 da. da. <laughs> Where does he get those wonderful toes? <laughs> Time for a segment that's filled with bad words. Not just the swearing, but the fact that everything these jerks say is bad. It's word association. Jesus, how am I going to top that? All right, here we go. <laughs> word association. This is the segment where I throw out a news story and the boys spit out the first word that comes to mind. Uh, we'll go back and forth on this one. You guys ready to go? Oh. Back, I, I, back. I'm trying to get Russian Michael Keaton out of my mind, but I got to move I on. I wish I took a photo with him. <laughs> you should have. Well, wait, before you leave, what what do what do you want? Like, look, if I'm gonna, you want to stuff me? Twenty five thousand. This fucking uh, hospital bit. Give okay. me a drachma. Twenty five fucking ruble. You grab that fucking foot. There's no way medically that was the correct way of doing that. No. You just give me foot. It went That's we do in mother in mother Russia. Ah! We just break foot. We break foot. We fix later. Repeat. All right, here we go. Soviet Russia, we dislocate <laughs> foot. <laughs> Bite on potato. Here we go. <laughs> Matt, uh, Justin, <clears throat> speak of the devil. Pattinson Batman. Any word comes to mind with that one? I was going to say, I dig. <laughs> dig. dig. Um, <laughs> curious? <Okay>. Bye, curious? <laughs> I mean, you know, um, curious can go. It's a hyphenated word. It's fun. Listen, I, when it comes to casting of Batman, I don't really give it much thought. I need to get more information. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing a, a different director that we've never seen before and uh, a Batman, uh, you know, a younger Batman. Um, I'm, I'm for to see what happens. Um, I, I'm just a little worried that I hear that there's going to be like six fucking villains in this movie. Yeah. All right. That's really where my concern's at. Unless they do it like that episode of Batman the Animated Series where they're all around the table like telling almost, stories almost about got Batman. Like almost got him type thing? Oh, almost got him. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was The cool. Rock? Is that, is that The Rock? Is The Rock going to be in it? No, not The Rock. Where... Croc. Killer Croc. Croc. Killer Croc. I almost hit him with a rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hit him with a rock. I almost hit him with a rock. Yeah, that was a oh, great. That'd be fantastic if they one made of my that favorites. One. That'd be a great episode, a uh, great movie. But yeah, they won't. But do you know, I was watching <laughs> um, uh, Blade Runner the other day, and the um, the girl in that movie, oh, like uh, Mackenzie, whatever her name is. No, no, the hologram. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's she should be Catwoman. She was yeah. in another movie I saw recently. What the fuck was it? And I was like, I know you, I know you. You're the hologram chick from Blade Runner. Yeah, she's yeah. in a few she's movies. She's in a couple she... things. Fuck, I, I would love her to be Catwoman, though. I think that would be fantastic. Would... So I'm just curious to see really what the villain structure is, is going to turn out to be. I, honestly, I know a lot of people are pissed off about Batman and Robin. I might be one of them. I, I might be one of them. But, Why? Yeah. What? We don't know. We don't know uh, yet. I mean, I, I, I'm everybody, not a big Everybody, everybody should all over Batman. fucking Russian Michael Keaton. <laughs> and every other <laughs> Russian Batman sense. And every, yeah, every single one. Of <laughs> um, he could he could suck. He could be great. It's 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 a detective story like we've never seen before. Is what I hear. So I'm just I'm like whatever. Let's see what he's else. in prime posi- he's in prime let's position to got. prove me and others are wrong. So hopefully hopefully I am wrong. I pray to well, God. What, what's the, what's the what's the initial trepidation of having him be Batman? Like what's He's your... Robert Pattinson. Okay, well, okay. besides that, <laughs> uh, it's Robert Pattinson. Okay. That's but obviously this isn't gonna work. No, are you? No, are you thinking Twilight? Yeah, I mean, and, and it's funny because I like. He's been in other shit since. No, 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 no. I know. I, I loved him in some Rover. Good, some good stuff. But I don't. I just don't see him as Batman. I don't. See, I, okay. He doesn't intimidate me at all. Like even in a suit, I'd be like, no, fuck off. <laughs> oh, listen, <laughs> you don't do anything to. Worst thing ever, but. Hey, we had Batman versus Superman, and yeah, it can't go anywhere but up. So, I mean, I hope, I, I I was wrong. I gotta say this every time. I'm sorry, I was wrong about Gal Gadot. So hopefully, I'll be wrong about. Hey, it's Matt Reeves. Uh, Matt Reeves is usually Matt Reeves is good. good. And Affleck yeah. was a great. This Bat- gave him absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, they, they, like, hey, can you can you just like look? <laughs> they built they built a sports car and they gave it no map and no direction. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. they fucked up. No, no GPS. The, no so GPS. that's what I'm saying. I'm saying let's just. Let's just wait and, he, and see what's going on. And Justin Pelosi never fucking says wait. Usually it's like, fuck this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, he, he's got perspective. He's young. <laughs> not as so young. He's got time. Well, you're not drinking <laughs> tonight. That's the problem. That's true. I am. He's sober. He's clean and sober. Speaking of uh, clean and sober, uh, Matthew. Oh, sorry. Michael Keaton. No. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris Rock directing and producing Saw movies. Oh, God. <laughs> is that your word, God? <laughs> no, that's, yeah, I would. There is no God. God. God's fucking dead. Like, like, he was I, never like, around. My thing, my thing is like reason. <laughs> Why is he doing what's this? What's the is it a fucking prank? reason behind this? What's prank the re- is what's the word the, prank. <laughs> what's the fucking reasoning behind this odd thing? That I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know he made that movie about black people's hair. Uh. I, I like that one with the good hair. Uh, with, whatever it's called. With, yeah, I, I like the one. The last movie he made was the one that I liked was the one with Rosario Dawson. I forget what the hell was the name. Five something. Oh, favorite was, five. Oh, like Faye Fa- Five or some shit. Some shit. Know. That movie was okay, but yeah. I don't know Chris about Rock Saw. And, Rick Rock. Rick Ross. I'm just call him Rick Ross. <laughs> uh, Chris Rock. Um, was, is he trying? Is he just kind of like campaigning on like, oh hey, if Jordan Peele could make a horror movie. <laughs> I can make a whole movie too. If if John Krasinski could do it, I could do, could do it too. It. He was a motherfucking office worker. I'm a <laughs> was comedian. A, I'm tired of being a fucking zebra. Ta ta ta. Robert Pattinson can be Batman. Yeah, Batman. <laughs> if you can be a Batman, I'm a black man. Like I, I, I mean, so, so is you want? Do you want Chris Rock as Jigsaw? <laughs> I want to play a game. <laughs> that would be well, that would, well. Okay, you know what? If you're gonna put it that, uh, way, did I just sell it to you? Did I just sell it? You sell it to me. It's like, hey, you want to play a game? Do you want to <laughs> play a game? <laughs> ta ta ta. Fee fa fo figure. I hate you. <laughs> this what? Something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess. The, I guess. Don't. Yeah, is, is, you know, are these? But also, are these new Saw films? Or is this kind of like this? I don't even up? know. I, I, what's his name? Told, what? Imagination of the. Uh... Yeah, I, I want to see the, the trailer. It's like from the imagination of Chris Rock comes a reimagination <laughs> of somebody else's imagination. <laughs> Seesaw. Seesaw's imagination. Seesaw. Seesaw. Oh, Seesaw. I'm surprised they haven't done that in marketing already. You know, you know what's funny? Like, in all the Saw movies, they never came up with a Seesaw trap. They should have had multiple Seesaw traps. Should have. Uh, it, it seems disappointing. Maybe Chris Rock's finally going to rectify this. So. We, can um, only, mm, I, we can only hope. We can only hope and pray and wait <laughs> with fucking bated breath. Let's not. How about uh, this, Justin? Uh, Terminator trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. 
I, I, I didn't even see this. I, I saw oh, this you have him? Uh, mm. You know, Ooh. Well, it was funny because when I watched it. I Yeah, I think. I, I think, just don't fucking care. Woo! <laughs> 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 I think we should uh, just, just bury <laughs> let it go, you know? Yeah, I, listen. I Terminator really died a long time ago. <laughs> on its course for a while now. Mm. And Genesis, or whatever you call it. Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The only Genesis. reason why I... I Terminator Isis. Isis. The Isis. The Isis, <laughs> the Isis factor. Terminator Isis. <laughs> More damage than ISIS. The only reason why I said that I, I enjoyed watching that was because I got to go to a theater and watch Arnold act in a movie. <laughs> you remember he had, he didn't act in a movie for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And then playing the Terminator, yeah. and so that was kind of interesting. I mean, the movie had a lot of terrible parts in it, and and there was a couple little things that I was like, oh, that's interesting. And what are they? Oh, they just fucked that up. <laughs> and then the the big reveal in their trailer was oh should i say it or <laughs> is terminator it, is spanish it, and Don uh Con oh Don connor was a terminator oh Gen okay, are you trying to worry about spoiling i don't terminator know how you spoil Smith? a trailer i mean whatever it's fine <laughs> for a movie that's the problem is that they movie. fucking spoiled it in the fucking trailer yeah they showed it in the trailer which is like such a interesting idea that no one's ever came up with before and it's like well that would have been something to watch yeah, it's like chris rock doing saw movies right that was the oh, that shit. was the original chris plan rock. that was the original plan in uh terminator salvation was that john connor was going to die and they were going to take john connor's skin and put right. it over the sam worthington and they got rid of that they changed right. it right See, that that's, that's interesting a atrocious film as well so <laughs> um I, I i watched this trailer and um i was very i was like wow that's doesn't look really good at all honest <laughs> to god i remember when the photos came out we were talking about the photos and i kind of said it didn't look that great and i know we we're mm -hmm. kind of like ah, let's see what's going on i i scroll down the comments a lot of people were liking the trailer mm -hmm. um so that's the confusion i don't know if i'm by myself on this one but it looks like ass i guess it can't be <laughs> it can't be any worse than the last one i guess right I, I suppose. Maybe that's the reason why everyone's like, oh, it's cool, it's back. It's the third I just need somebody to explain to me why the CGI effects in Terminator 2 that came out, what, 25 years ago? Fuck, it's 28 better, years ago. 28 years ago Almost look better than the CGI effects ago. today. <laughs> because yep, back then yep. they used CGI in very little amounts oh, mixed with yeah. practical yeah. effects. Okay. And, he had, and he had Stan Winston doing shit too. And you yeah, had somebody so. who cares. And when, yeah. honest to God, if I was working on this film, it's like, oh, great. What's it called? Dark Fate? Dark, dark, yeah. I think it's Dark Fate. <laughs> I think yeah, you're right, fate, yeah. Oh, great. Dark I get fate. to work on That sounds problems. like a fucking Lifetime movie. <laughs> New one Lifetime. Tracy Gold. Dark <laughs> Linda fate. Hamilton. Dark Fate. Dark fate. Harry the wrong man. <laughs> this, this is her Dark Fate. He has how many wives? <laughs> dark Fate. <laughs> she thought this was fate. It was the darkest of all things. Dark. <laughs> Happiness. Oh my lord! <laughs> all right, Matthew. How about this? <laughs> her husband <laughs> having sex with her father, <laughs> and together they had a threesome with her mother, <laughs> and her brother recorded it. Dark feet. Dark feet. Uh, Matthew, how about the uh, Matrix sequels? Uh, oh, uh, that's uh, coming back, and, by the way. Back yeah, that's back too. <laughs> that's you know, back you know, too, you know what I find funny? It, well, there was some Instagram photos. No, tell us there. what you found funny. Well, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's more sad. It gets kind of depressing. It just makes me feel like... Like my, old people trying it to make, be it makes, Yeah, it makes, me, maybe, it makes me feel like I have a dark fate ahead of me, too. Oh. Um, it's... Think We're of, Americans. We all have a dark. Yeah, no, it's, it's very true. dark. It's, it's yeah, just imagine it's next, what happens. Happen, what happens? Some fucking a little next, darker than others. Imagine what happens. Fucking next November. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, God. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait for next November, twenty twenty. <laughs> so, there's like a movie theater marquee, and it's got all these movies on it and shit like that, and it's like, uh, Godzilla, Toy Story. Oh, I saw Child's that. Play. Aladdin. I'm Aladdin. Like, where Aladdin. the fuck am I? Like, well, 90 like, where, 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 like, what's happening right now in in this? You know, oh, then Booksmart maybe underneath or something too. But no, <laughs> and Booksmart. No, I don't, fuck about I don't no, it was all night. The photo I saw, it was a marquee to the left. Yeah, yeah. it was, it, it was all, just those four maybe or something. Like that. Yeah, it was Godzilla, Aladdin, 
Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, what fucking world are we in right now? So, yeah, we're going to have to look forward to seeing uh, Matrix, I guess, back uh, up on the marquee. Maybe it'll be right well, next to ha- The Mummy again. Be like, The Mummy, Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, when's the last time the Wachowskis made a good movie? Uh, v for Vendetta? <laughs> Is that the last time? They didn't time make that shit. They produced it. Well, technically, they, they didn't. But well, no. It, they they, they pretty much did. <laughs> Look, you know what? Look, Lana <laughs> and movie. the other sister. I don't know what her name is. Lana? Lana? La- what was it? L- Lara Lana. and Lana now? Yeah. So Siblings. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe they're, they, they made... Initially, they made the movie as men. Now they're going to make remake the trilogy as women now. So, maybe we're in for a special treat. Wait, they're not all women. They're both women, though. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. yeah they, oh, yeah. They, 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 they're, they're, not they, called, they're not called the Wachowski they're brothers the, anymore. They're the, called the, the Wachowski, Wachowski sisters, sisters now, or siblings, I think, whatever they are. I, think it's I thought only one transitioned. No, I thought, I thought the other one transitioned now. They yeah. both transitioned. Yeah, they both transitioned. They both yeah. made the transition. They both made they're So, both I guess there. that's in there's my word, transition. Oh, there you go. There you go. Because we're all, we're all, I mean... We're all we're all in for a transition. I'll tell you that much. Speaking of speaking of transition, how about a race transition, oh my Justin? Uh, Scrooge remake with Kevin Hart. Why are why are all these these <laughs> why are the, why are all these black comedians remaking these white films? <laughs> I don't know. Is there not a remake on this list? Uh, it's, it's either sequel or remake. I'm looking at the list right now. Uh, this is the world mm, we're in. Not looking good. There's a, couple, there's a couple sequels. Uh, nothing original. Okay, cool. So, uh, Kevin Hart. Kind of you. like our podcast. Nothing original. You know, I'm fine with that. Um, um, not that it really matters if I'm not or not, but um, <laughs> they're gonna. Okay. Fuck you know. Um, you, you think Kevin Hart can? I don't uh, care. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't care. What you, you got to look at is uh, I like uh, Kevin Hart. He he's fine. he's a nice guy. Um, seems like a nice guy. Really? I might have, I might have got to hang out with him once. Oh, you hung out with Kevin Hart? Cool. How was he? This is a nice guy. <laughs> um, Jay, I, I, um, I'm not going to get into this story now. Um, way story, back. Story time's Infinite. over. Story time's over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> story time's over. I don't know how he is now, but, uh, listen, um, it's it's a it's an endless story that uh, you know always seems to get remade, right? So uh, oh yeah, Charles Dickens, you're right. Sure. But why why, why, don't you, why are you calling a Scrooge? Why don't you just call like a Christmas story with fucking Kevin Hart or Black yeah, Hole? I mean, oh, <laughs> it's supposed to white coal, <laughs> <laughs> black ashy, ashy coal, it's a little racist. Uh... <laughs> that King Cole, his that name King... Cole. <laughs> watch, watch, they changed the name to Cole. If they change him to Cole, line, I, I don't want any black. Cold. I will buy a ticket just so I can walk out. <laughs> just so I can walk out. <laughs> I'm going to support this movie because we need more angrily, original films. <laughs> just to angrily walk out. <laughs> I, I like, think it's I, great. I object. I object, Your Honor. Uh, I think Matthew. <laughs> How about uh, I don't, you? Probably haven't even seen this. The Hobbs and Shaw final trailer. Have you watched the new? Oh, let me say this. I wish Chris Hart was. I, I I wish I wish that was flipped. I Chris wish Hart? Hart was doing the saw. Oh. And Rock was it was doing Scrooge. Oh. You know what's and funny? I think I agree with you. I'd rather Chris Rock do Scrooge I'd rather than uh, Chris. I don't know why, but I feel like that would be a better. I don't know. That's a. Be- I think he'd do a better job as it filling the Bill Murray role than Kevin Hart. Are you correct with this information? Or are you just assuming all black? Yeah, people are you just making this up? <laughs> all black people look sort of alike. Uh, I feel Matthew, like this uh, is a black and white issue. It's pretty black. Pretty, pretty black. Ghost of Christmas Past. Like, damn, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> I want to let me go on. Uh, <laughs> Bill Murray, um, Matthew, uh, Hobbs and Shaw final trailer dropped yesterday. I'm not sure if you've seen it. There's, there's, a, not really there's a, trailer a final trailer. Game. Oh, final trailer I feel like they yesterday. had like four trailers for this fucking movie. They've had four trailers for it. I, think. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see the final one, but I, I saw everything I feel like I need to see in the preceding trailers. Where it's yeah, like, they dropped it like it was hot. Yeah, they did. Oh. Yeah, fucking Snoop Dogg's <laughs> in this shit now. All they right, literally say yeah, in the trailer. Okay, Snoop Dogg's in this movie. Uh, well, you got like, okay, uh, I like the fact that Idris Elba. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going off the fucking new one. I don't give a fuck about this new one now. Um, this is like Polynesia. That's my word, Polynesia. 
Polynesian. Polynesian. Like Poly <laughs> Samoan. How about Samoan? Samoan. Samoan works. Samoa. Samoa. Samoa cookies. Some, uh, give me like, Samoa then. Oh, uh, oh, give me Samoa. Um, <laughs> give me Samoa. Jason Momoa. Um, <laughs> he so was supposed got, to be in this movie, by the way, but he had a, a scheduling conflict. Jason. Like, was he having another kid with Lisa Bonet? He was going to be The Rock's brother, and he had to do Aquaman, so they got The Rock's actual cousin, Roman oh, Reigns. Good. I mean, he, had, he got a real, like, you're keeping it all in the family. What's well, the right. thing I was hearing about today with The Rock, where everybody's, like, super happy now that The Rock's not in the Fast and the Furious series now, and I made it all like, oh, good, The Rock. You, you know me, I, hate the the, I hated the Fast and Furious franchise, but I, I support this movie because the only two characters that are interesting now are the Rock's character and Jason Statham's character? I don't give a shit about. Character. Tell me something only... about Dom that you you give a shit about. Uh, you care, it don't you care. it don't matter if you win by an inch or a no, mile. Oh, fuck. That was twenty years ago. That I movie. am Groot. <laughs> that line was literally twenty years ago. Nineties movie. He's what he said. <laughs> that was the only that was the only Fast and Furious for my money that was. Bring worth back me. Riddick. Yeah. yeah. Where's Riddick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring Here's Riddick the thing back. I say about I I, I watched it. Uh, didn't, didn't they have the direct uh, the cartoon Riddick, which was called Dark Fate? Yeah, it was Dark Fate. I think it was yeah, called Dark Fate. Dark Fate. <laughs> and they had the video Dark game Fate. too. That was I think I owned that on DVD somewhere. Yeah, it was called Dark. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Justin, Dark. good job. Go I, I think the same people that did they unfluxed it. Yeah, yeah. I like I think Dark but yeah, I, I, The Rock was saying that he was trying to make this like into a Lethal Weapon movie, but. Honestly, I think they're forgetting what there ain't are nothing not fucking lethal weapon about. But this. no, no, I oh, think I think. But yeah. no, I think they're missing uh, what it really is, and it's clear what it is. Tango it's a tango in cash. It's exactly. It's the plot is almost the same. Yeah, <laughs> the sister and the two opposing sides is a big steroids. Yeah. It's the same thing. And, 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 and the the good thing is that they're leaning into it because it's ridiculous. But like the new trailer. There's a scene where it just able to, the the bike is apparently he rides a, a smart bike which is like the bike from D Terminator Salvation speaking smart, of the devil where it's like it you don't have to be on it it kind of like operates by itself and he can like jump on it and he does like this fucking move on it and it's like a cartoon and I'm like this is great it's fucking ridiculous it's enjoying what it is it, it's but like GI Joe the movie it's yes, it, it, they, I, it's not the first person that's, that's not the first time I've heard that call, it's called GI Joe but everybody's like it's like GI Joe but like good. <laughs> like, because you like all the people I, I in the like, movie. I like GI Joe as a Cobra, too. You yeah, like GI Joe. I don't know why you like that. Two's movie. great. That is fucking Two? stupid. Get, go back and watch GI Joe Rise of Cobra cool. again. And compare that stupid ass shit to goddamn fucking this dumb movie. Yeah, dumb. I, I prefer Hobbs and this Shaw. This movie looks like fucking. This movie looks like fucking Moana and Tango and Cash. But you gotta understand. Here we here's no, what we I had don't. in Rise of. Here's what we had at Rise of Cobra in terms of likable characters. Channing Tatum and Marlon Wayans. In this movie, we have The Rock and Jason Statham, Helen and, Mirren um, and Idris Elba. <laughs> I'll take Marlon the Wayans Hobbs and Shaw okay. Marlon Wayans I mean, was okay. It's the first time that sentence has ever been uttered, ever. I like Marlon Wayans. Wayans Brothers was Why? a classic show. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of the 90s. Uh, Justin. <laughs> the, the John Wayans Brothers. The John Wayans Brothers. Uh, you come over here, Pilgrim. Uh, come Justin. over here. Paul Rudd has signed on for Ghostbusters 2020. So we got another remake sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't about? wait. Really? So because people are going to get their panties in a bunch. Oh, they are. It's like, <laughs> what happened to our other Ghostbusters? Oh, everyone's <laughs> excited about the men's. Oh, that's what you think is going to happen, huh? Oh, oh it's, it's, it's already happening. It's already oh. occurring. But we don't know if the cast has got women in it yet. We have no idea. It don't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This ain't my Ghostbusters. <laughs> I wish people would understand that the, the women Ghostbusters uh, is not liked, not because of women in it. It's because it's the worst fucking movie that came out that year. <laughs> right, so but bad. people don't want to hear that. Here's the thing, it's Paul so Rudd. so bad. I, I like that. I hope he's not goofy Paul Rudd. I hope he's like... Like Eon Spangler, like uh, maybe he does like the Harold Ramis route on that. Yeah, I hope he, he's. You, you, you don't think he can care? He can be the Venkman. You think he's gonna be the uh, Ray? Maybe make him be the Ray. He's, uh, he's not. He's not smarmy enough to be the Venkman. I feel like who? I is just don't want Venkman? that goofy. Yeah, goofy Paul Rudd. You know what? I want. I want the the Rudd we have now, which is Ant like Ant Man Paul Rudd. He doesn't yeah. have enough scumbag in. in a yeah, he's not scummy enough. Be, well, dude, you, you're not gonna make a fucking Ghostbusters movie anymore that has like extreme rape connotations the entire film oh yeah they could I fucking they could i drugged her movie, yeah. <laughs> like, you, you could. and they should 
<laughs> well, we'll see did, how did, it comes did, in because I hear. Did you see the? Uh, did you see the? Because uh, uh, this is Jason Reitman's directing it. Uh, Ivan Reitman, the original director. Yeah, has he raped anyone yet? Or? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, did you? Did you see? Jason he had a. Uh, Reitman hasn't yet. No, okay, not he, yet. He not, had not a. That, uh, not that it's been out out of yet. Okay, yeah. So we're okay. Okay. He had a uh, conference or some kind of meet and greet with fans, and they were showing a uh, never before seen footage of the original Ghostbusters. Did you see that? No. Oh, I did not see that. No. It was ex. There was a scene where it's like some of them. It's like different no, they takes. They incorporate that into the new film. Well, no. Well, they he, he pretty <laughs> much shows it, but uh, there's the the scene where they're in the mayor's <laughs> office, and it's like I guess right, it's just more. Yeah, yeah, there's different takes on that where it was, that this man has no genitalia or whatever. <laughs> and then uh, there was a, a scene where the the funniest one I that I, of all the scenes they 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 showed that they had kept on the cutting room floor or whatever, uh, was when they're in the mayor's office and the mayor, uh, what's his name, uh, Peck, is talking about uh, they make nerve gas and do all sorts of stuff and people think they're seeing ghosts, that, that part. And there's an unused take by uh, Egon and he goes, Your Honor, this is completely untrue. We would never. No, he says something like, "Did you guys steal nerve gas?" He goes, "Your Honor, this is completely untrue. We would never steal nerve gas. If we wanted nerve gas, we would make it ourselves." <laughs> it's yes. the way he delivered. It is fucking perfect. <laughs> and Jason Reitman kept going, "What, Dad? Why did you leave this out of the movie?" <laughs> and, and Ivan is like, "I don't know. I was fucking high. I don't know." Fucking I would, like, I would love them to to put that in there. Like, if they had any leftover stuff to kind of. Oh, he probably he 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 said Jason Reitman did say. He, he, he was explaining how we got the footage and they remastered it and did all this stuff. And he said, we're using it for the new movie, yeah, but he didn't get any specifics. Yeah, the 4K, right? The 4K right. Blu-ray. Right, mm. right, right. So he, he said he's going to use it. He's using it for the movie, but he did not specify. So they might be able to do like some other. There's a whole bunch of other takes. Like recut it into the film? Maybe. I mean, every, the, the part where he goes, we came, we saw, we whooped his ass or kicked his ass or whatever. They, they show like five different versions of that mm. because... Bill Murray just did a different take every time right. and, and they showed every version of him coming out of the door and every different it was a different line every time he came out the door I, stuff like that's pretty cool I'm not I'm not excited for a Ghostbusters movie I don't need a Ghostbusters movie but right. if they can match the writing yeah. of that first film and have the delivery of that first film perfect what's a, what's a modern comedy perfect. that has that type of dry humor that's it like it, 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 Ghostbusters is not well. yeah it's not it Ghostbusters just, was never slapstick it was no, just no. really good dry because the new Ghostbusters that was bad right. was just slapstick yeah. Yeah. That's what it was called. that yeah. was just yeah, yeah. gross yeah. slapstick Pratt falls, yeah, falls and, like people fall and, and that's not Ghostbusters no, no no it's dry witty humor like you know I like I'd like to say book that's the the Judd comedy that's been you know trying to be copied by other people and it's it's not it's working cheap it's out there it's cheap it's easy yeah. it doesn't work for well, certain things this property even... doesn't work for this property because that's the funny part you about really... it is the smartness of the delivery the lines and how dry everything is i feel like right. it was like lightning in a like you you can't match like the elevator that. scene think again oh yeah the, the, this is so yeah what do you this, this, this... yeah what are you a cosmonaut <laughs> Somebody saw a roach oh, up on but, fifth. When they turn, when they turn it on, <laughs> they turn it, they back and it, away. They yeah. Back yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, subtle that stuff, stuff like that. You don't need. Now it'll be a fart joke now. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what you call polish. Yeah. And when a car is polished that beautifully, you got a winner. Well, I so, feel like you do a scene like that again. All right, perfect. It off, for it. Yeah, all right is. It's it's funny because I I, 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 I kind of mentioned it, but it's like one of the funniest movies I've seen this year and it wasn't because it was slapsticky though it had slapstick elements but it had really good writing was Booksmart where it's like oh wow this is kind of like dialogue humor not holy shit he has a booger in his nose or there's a you know his underwear is showing actual really cool comedy that I enjoy is like witty banter and if you watch Ghostbusters the first what forty five minutes? Other than the, the going to the library, yeah. nothing really happens. <laughs> they're, just, uh, they're just talking, and it's funny, and then there's montages of witty things that are happening. Yeah, well, sure. The, first, the second, the fir- yeah, the first scene after you have like you know Peter Venkman being a creep and it sets him up for what you're in score for. Then you have him in him in um, fucking Ackroyd going at each other. 
pretty much yeah, at that point, it's, it's it's that, and then you add Egon into it, and then eventually you add you know Ernie Hudson in, who is a straight man. He's he's us. At least you have somebody in the fucking movie that is us. You know, yeah. everybody else is on, on a different level. You need something you can somebody you can connect with. Of course, problem I, I worry about this new movie is that I hear it's it's kids, which is uh, you know that that's I mean Booksmart was kids too, but they were like teenagers. So if they go that route. It could work. I just don't. I don't know if it's gonna be. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I mean, this and, and even the whole and the, the whole thing too. It's like, yeah, if you want to incorporate, like the the whole thing is always like the argument. It's like there's no extra representation. It's all white men, which is fine. Include you can include other people, but you have to have the writing be fucking good with it too. Like I don't Jared, care. I mean, if Jared you're if you're a good actress like or good anybody, good. I don't care who you are. Put fucking yeah. goddamn Ali Wong in. I don't give a shit who you fuck. Randall Park. Put fucking any. Oh, no, no. Don't like it. <laughs> no, don't you're like right. it. And that's the thing. It's um, it's this is the it, this is probably the only uh, combination that will work. And if it doesn't work, then don't ever come back to it. Let it go. Hey, yeah. If Jason Reitman can't make it work, yeah, you got to fucking end bury it. Bury it. to be helping, of course. Yeah. And it sounds like some of the old cast members are coming back and he actually grew up with this movie up he with has it. he's he's going through all the old stuff and um, so all right he's great so i it's, some, I, it's somebody who cares it's hopefully somebody who has a legacy that would fucking give a shit about this movie and not want to oh hey let's cash in because we're going to do something different completely different like give me the same thing yeah hmm. give me something give me t- something that i can still go back to and watch it's I got a couple. Uh, I, got I got a. I got a couple other here. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna skim through real fast because some of them are pretty easy. Fire, goddamn it! Uh, uh, back, back to school <laughs> reality show. Go fuck yourself. I'm not even using one word. Go fuck yourself. Back, back to school to, reality back show. To, back no. to school reality show. Fuck yeah, that. no. Fuck that. Uh, fuck Joker that. rated R. Fine. That's fine. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. But okay. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> That's a word. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Hunger Games sequel, prequel. Uh, Don't Hunger care. Games? Don't, don't not. Nah, eh. <laughs> um, I seen one. Oh, oh, no, no. There's only one good movie out of the whole franchise. Um, Ta- Taika Waititi doing a Flash Gordon cartoon show. Yes, hey. he already did one with Thor Ragnarok. It was the same fucking. It was Flash without Flash Gordon. You just yeah. place him with Thor. It's the same fucking. Fla- this part. is like Flash Gordon off the Flash. Jeff Goldblum was being the merciless. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. Uh, uh, give it to me. Bo- Here's, here's, a, here's one, Justin Bar, take some time. Bond first look. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about Bond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? Did uh, you see the yeah, first I look? Saw, yeah, no, I saw it. I, mm. Oh, he said, mm. you know, I'm going gonna, gonna to turn this on you. Oh, flip it. I like, you like? I like, Kerry Fukun- I like Kerry Fukunaga. It, it is being shot in Jamaica. I recognize Jamaica from a mile away. Um, I hear bad things on the set, but it looked <laughs> Jamaica. <okay. laughs> I, I got to see some. I got to see more. I got to see more. Hey, listen, a lot of it could be just made up. I don't know. I don't know if it's the Bourne Company doing. Are you, get, are, are you getting? A, are you getting a fantastic a four stick vibe? A fan I, four I stick don't vibe? think I've ever seen this much craziness for a production. I mean, it's been delayed and delayed for a very long time. They've had problems for a while now, but yeah. since they started, everything has gone like completely wrong. That can go wrong. Um, even even there was a building next door that I don't think was a part of the Pine Woods or anything that like some guy hid a camera in the bathroom and was watching women pee and shit and all. Oh my god. So like this in the in the in the newspaper it's like New James Bond film hidden camera in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so I it, there's a lot of issues I'm hearing that uh the director is kind of alienating a lot of people is what I'm hearing. I like him, though. He, I do, too. My, but it sounds like director. he's he's having a hard time himself. I just listen. Just yeah, hope everything yeah. comes out. It sounds like it's going to be an original. It's going to be a, 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 a different type of a bond, something that maybe we've been missing for a while. Right. Um, and I hope it's that. I hope it ignores Spectre. Cause yes. I, please forgot. I hope we all do. Erase that movie from canon. And at least, <laughs> at least, hopefully, there is some chemistry between the, the lead yeah, and yeah. please. But uh, and then you have the flea bag uh, writer coming on to try to make Bond a little nicer to women. Okay, uh, last couple. Uh, uh, Django Zorro comic book possible movie. Okay, whatever. 
Is it going to be Antonio Banderas and Jamie Foxx? Ooh. Now you just sold it to me. <laughs> now, Quentin Tarantino writing and directed? Now, you, now, now you have my attention. Oh. And can no, no, Anthony yeah. Hopkins be a Force Ghost or whatever? It's yeah, called? that'd be good. <laughs> Zorro, I want you to meet Django. Django, Django. Who the Stay fuck? away from my wife, uh, my daughter. She is bipolar. <laughs> oh shit! Did you figure that out yet? Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. She's really beautiful, but woo, just like her nuts. Uh, Space Jam 2. Uh, I, I I hate Space Jam. I hate everything involved. You don't like the first Space Jam? Never. I, I, I've told you the only joke that I've ever liked in that entire movie, it's, which is Larry Bird Larry's is not clear. white. <laughs> He's clear. That's it. The, only, the Bill best Murray's part of that movie a, is Bill, Bill Murray. If Bill Murray was the star of Space Jam, I'd like Space Jam, but he's in two scenes. Do you think so Bill no. Murray would come back for Space Jam 2? God, I hope not. I think he would. No, it's going to be like Chris oh, Rock. Uh, Chris, Chris, not fucking Chris Rock. The other guy. Kevin Hart. I feel like Rock would be in this. Chris Rock? Yeah, the Rock. Dwayne. No, Rock wouldn't be in this. What the fuck? Dwayne would the kill the. Rock. Dwayne I, is a monster. Like he is a monster. <laughs> Dwayne. He's as big as the fucking Wayne. creatures. Dwayne. Okay, the last one here. Charlie's Angels trailer. Oh, <laughs> <of music>. That's <laughs> all for Matt. Yeah, it's all for you, buddy. Oh, it's a, lay it's a layup for me. It's all for me. Yeah, I'll take it's it. I'll take you. it to the fucking gym. <laughs> Have you seen any of that? Have you seen any of that new press your luck shit on ABC? Uh, I think it's because well, I mean, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Well, because Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks is the host of that. Now she's the Bosley in this, and, and the director. Who is it? Kristen Stewart. She's also. Oh, the she's directing she's this. She's a writer and the director. Yes. She's a. She's I mean, a she's, 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 show. I mean, she's the one that also like torpedoed the Pitch Perfect series too. So that's fine. Um, she was good in Brightburn. But that's worth. But I, what, I hear what what is that fucking worth? <laughs> Ten minutes uh, time. <laughs> I haven't seen that Stroke movie. I'll see it. I'll, I'll yeah. I'll see it. I'll see that shit when it's on something else where I can watch. It's not bad. It's a concept movie. Oh come! What a fucking concept. You know, After the it, concept, it, there's nothing else to it. It, it. it is fucked up because you know what? Everybody's watching fucking shit like Godzilla and all these other remakes, but then nobody's watching Brightburn and they shit all over it, but that's another that's another conversation for another day. Um, mm. who, who, who are the other angels in this movie besides uh, Chris? Uh, the Spirit? chick, who, Jasmine from Aladdin. And uh, I like Rangers to say movie. the Pink Power Ranger. Pink Power Ranger, whatever okay. you want to call her. <laughs> and uh, the girl, the other black girl, I, I have not seen, she might have been from something I didn't recognize her. The other black know. girl? The other girl, she happens to be black, oh. and I guess she's the mean one because she, she has guns she, and she kills happens people. To be black. She's the mean one. Yeah, and oh, and, and and Patrick Stewart for some reason I don't know who he's playing. Is he Charlie? No. Because oh, I don't know. Because they, Charles, Charles Xavier. Charlie, yeah, he's playing. He's Charles. playing. He's literally playing Char <laughs> Charles Xavier. <laughs> but no, but because then they played the. Uh, unless he was doing a, a Forsyth voice, they play the Hello Angels, and it didn't sound like Patrick Stewart. It sounded like the original. Charlie. So I'm like, I who mean, the hell's Patrick Stewart? So, I mean, put that shit in post production. Listen, something. I don't think women should be called angels. Yeah. Oh, here I we think go. That is uh, a term mm. um, that mm. is destructive. What, what would you? What would you, what would you call them? Charlie Devils. Boy. I would call Demons? Them women. Oh, hello, Charlie's women. women. Now Charlie's women sounds like he owns the women. Oh, like, yeah. he, like he designing women. He's, he does. They don't belong to Charlie. Yeah. Women's Charlie. Charlie. That's How about that? Right. <laughs> how about how about how about uh, the aim? Fuck. I guess the, the aim fuck. I, I'm not, I'm not the, yeah, the, the angels <laughs> fuck. The fuck. Yeah, so the fucking angels. <laughs> it looks like a cheap TV hey, movie. The angel, the what, uh, fuck what, what do I call you? <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I just call you Vanessa. Is that wrong? How, how, I, don't, I don't know. How about this shit is outdated and fucking? Hey, ridiculous. you! It looks like the, you saw the Charlie's Angels. Hey, you probably did not see the Charlie's Angels TV show, but it came out like four years ago. But well, that it was looks like the you Charlie's know, Angels. Kelly was in that or something like that. Yeah, it looks like that. Like literally, like the second season of it. You it know, doesn't it, look it, any... it, dude just as good as the first twelve episodes of that TV series. They're a shitty television show. I'm surprised how many movies they've gotten. Do you remember the movie Mod Squad with Omar Epps? That's a terrible movie. It might be the worst movie of all time. Have you ever seen that movie, though? Have you seen yes, it? Sweet. That's what this one looked like. It looked like a like their version of Mod Squad. Yeah. 
Blair Danes, Giovanni Ribisi, and fucking Giovanni uh, fucking Ribisi. That what a boring. It wasn't like movie. Algae himself. Yeah. Wasn't Clarence <laughs> Williams the third in that shit too? No, only the fourth. <laughs> he oh. was in the original one. He was only he was the original. Oh yeah, Hotspot he was. Guy. Oh, and then the, the dead chick now. What's her name? Uh, uh, what's the, the dead name? chick? Who's the dead, dead chick? Dead mom. Uh, Barb. <laughs> fucking Rashida Jones's dead mom. You got to be more specific. Rashida Jones only had one mom, asshole. <laughs> I don't know who Rashida. Quincy Jones's wife. Yeah, Quincy Jones's wife. wife, or one of his several wives. Who did Quincy Jones say was gay? Uh, he said somebody made gay, had gay sex with. Uh, oh, I know this else. one. Who was it? Wrote out on everybody and everything. And no one remembers. I can't remember. Was it? He says. Was it? It's like He's Ringo Starr. Murphy. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Marlon Brando. That's who it was. Fuck. <laughs> Quincy Jones knows everything about everybody. Oh my God, he he's spilling tea all over the goddamn. That's place. good. I love Boston. Quincy, I love the, the Boston Tea Party. I love the fact that Quincy Jones is coming out and calling everybody out in their bullshit now. <laughs> was it Jack Nicholson? Did he shit on Jack Nicholson too? Oh, he he shit on a whole bunch of he people. Said, he said he said uh, Ringo Starr was the worst drummer ever in the history of music. <laughs> yeah, he, Quincy Jones had that story where he's he's doing something with the Beatles, and fucking Ringo goes to fucking rub one out or something like that. <laughs> and somebody plays the Ringo Starr drums, or he, he he's playing in, in place of Ringo Starr. And Ringo Starr comes back in. It's like, oh man, the, the drum. And it's like, oh man, the drumming sounds really good here. And he's like, yeah, motherfucker, because you didn't play it. <laughs> I love this man because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Mar- how Marlon Brando got? Who, 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 <laughs> who, did, who did he fuck? Richard Pryor. No. Richard Pryor. That's what it was. I knew, I knew it was so. Man. I kept thinking Eddie Murphy, but it was Richard Pryor. I was one generation off. Uh, so, he, so, he fu- who, who, so you think he fucked Richard Pryor? Or Richard Pryor fucked him. Oh, there was probably there's probably the tag team. It was. They were double dutching each other. Double, t- <laughs> double dutching. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Time yeah. out! Time out! I need the term double dutch to be a fucking. Real I don't term. remember the story. <laughs> They play double dutch. <laughs> Do a double dutch. <laughs> they play double dutch together. <laughs> I just picture Richard Pryor. <laughs> like the- fucking Marlon Richard Pryor Brand- doing, free- doing free base while fucking Marlon Brand is fucking him in the ass. Somebody, who's holding the uh- rope? Who's holding the fucking... This has been Word Association. Pushing the English language to its limit in credibility. Okay, Matt. What have you been watching on television? <laughs> oh, where do we go from? Where do we? Where do we even start here at this point? I'll go. Um, oh, no, oh, uh, you know, it's funny. Watching. I got I got a whole list actually. <laughs> oh wow! I I, I, actually, I actually wrote a list out of things I have seen that would be qualified as TV shows. Okay. In the past, right. what's on the what's number one? Oh okay, yeah, number one. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a Bang quick bus. rundown. Bang <laughs> bus, Mike's apartment. <laughs> Mike's apartment bang bus edition. Still around? <laughs> Mike's apartment. I'm sure Mike's. I'm sure Mike's apartment is still out there, kind of making. He moved in with his mother. old porn references. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on some reviews. Mike's apartment. Uh, Red Shoe Diaries <laughs> is the next one. Honestly. <laughs> well, fu- funny enough, one of these shows I have been watching have ha- has had David Duchovny in it too. So, uh, number one, yeah, the new season of Black Mirror. I've also been, I, 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 I'm, I'm, not I, I'm, not, I'm not done yet. Okay. 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 Also been watching the Chef Show a little bit. Love. Uh, I finished. I, it. I, I finished I'm not done it. yet. Show. Okay. I've also let the white man talk. Let the white <laughs> the white man gets his day. God damn it. <laughs> Get also, off all, all my list. Also, also been watching. I think you should leave with Tim Robinson that weird show on Netflix. Also right, watched an that. episode of Jack Ryan. I've been watching some Press Your Luck. I've been watching some <laughs> Fringe. X, Fringe? X Files, American Fringe, God, huh? American Gods, and then some oh, Deadwood too. What do you want to talk about first? I don't know. You pick. Fucking I uh, Black Man. Since choice. we both watched Black Mirror, I, I watched. I, Black Mirror. Yeah, I watched the first, the newest season, and I went back and binged like most of the other episodes. What would you say? This is close for both of you because <laughs> I got mine already. Yeah. What would you say is your top three favorite episodes of Black Mirror? Anything right. that's not in the newest season. Yeah, and oh, <laughs> that, that no, is true. <laughs> oh, 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 top five. One of the episodes in the new season will be in my top five. Re- okay, all right, all right. Which uh, one? 
It's got to be the Mackie one, I'm assuming. Uh, fuck in the middle one, the Smithery. Mackie. Oh, sm- no, oh no, that's no, the one that's, with that's, uh, Moriarty? No, that's a gay black one. The Moriarty uh, one? Yeah, with Moriarty. The Moriarty yeah, one's yeah. in my top five. The car yeah. one. The car. It got too preachy. It got too preachy at the end, but the performance is great. I, I like it. I, I thought it was good because it also, it, it's one of these things, too, where it's like, oh, that's fucked up for different mm. reasons altogether. Is it uh, personal right. to you? It's not personal to me personally. But however, I do look at it and be like, this is why we're going to be destroyed in the next year. Yeah. But I, again, they could have done a little bit more subtle earth, with This is why this why this country is in fucking trouble. All right. Yeah. Uh, other top three. Okay, I say top three is a uh, mm. uh, metalhead. Is in my top. You three. like metal? I, you know, I fucking love metalheads. fucking metalhead. Metalhead. People give metalhead three. shit. I really like that episode. It's not my top three, well, but I did metal, like that episode. Metalheads in my top three. So that's, yeah, that'll be number three. Um, mm. Number two would probably be. You like the apocalyptic shit about? I do. I do like that shit. Um I like probably the Christmas uh, specials. Top White Christmas, two, yeah, yeah. Number yeah. two, and then number one is probably uh, the national anthem. Ooh, so the first one. The first okay. one. What about you? The national anthem, yeah. What about you, Justin? What about you? I'm gonna see if any. Of, I'm gonna see if Justin can get my number one. I'm. I'm. I'm seeing if because Matt had my number two on his list. Hmm. The Star Trek one. Star Trek one's great. USS Callister, good episode. Okay. Really good. Um. It was good. I just didn't like how everyone loved it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like crazy great, but it was really good. Did that one also won the gold? Did that one also win a Golden Globe? I think it won an award. I'm pretty okay. sure it won an award. Because two of them have won awards. So that was the one that got me into Black Mirror because I I was I was really hesitant on watching the show. My sister like the Cal- you have to watch the, the show. The Callister one. What was the one? Yeah, so I was like. I, I got in through that show. With the episode. The two girls that fell in love. Oh, St. Oh, San Gen- San Pearl. Yeah, everybody loves that one. Yeah, too. I love that one. I, he, uh, I, I, I like that one too, but I also, you know, that entire history of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in season one. Oh, I am, that's one of the ones I'm, the one, the one with Toby Kebbell, right? Yeah, I haven't seen that that's one. The third, yeah, that's, the, that's the third episode in season I one. I like that. Here's the thing about Black Mirror. I really like, I really do, I, I, there, there are a few I like that have happy endings, but I really like the right. ones that are got some dark fucking endings. Yeah, dark fucking shit going. <laughs> Metalhead has one of the darkest fucking yeah. endings you've ever fucking seen. Yeah. Most of them do. The, the, the one with the, probably the best ending, like happy ending, is exactly. probably fucking San, San Junipero. San that's, Junipero, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Ending. that's probably... Maybe the only ones I can think of have a happy ending is San Junipero and maybe the Miley Cyrus one. Yeah, and even that's uh, fucking annoying. All of, season, yeah. all of this season was happy ending. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, not really. The second episode, not since Smithereens. Yeah, Smithereens was a happy ending. But <laughs> Striking Vipers definitely had a happy ending, but it was you a guys f- got the fuck. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they get the fucked, and Homegirl gets to fucking fuck a guy when she wants to fuck a guy. What's that yeah. one so, with um, uh, the accidental murder? And she's she's tracking them. She's um, uh, she she she. Uh, Reads the implant, the the, the eyeball. Oh, and fuck. are you talking about crocodile? Is that crocodile? Maybe? Is that the one with which she? That is, is that one they, my number motherfucking one. Crocodile. Is that where she's at the hotel or whatever. Andrea Rice, Andrea Rice Burrow, when she accidentally runs over a guy on a bike yes. at like the beginning of the yeah. episode. Yeah, I love and that. Then later, she. That is my favorite episode of Black Mirror. Yeah. Number two is White Christmas, which Matt okay. mentioned. And number three yeah. is Black Museum. Black, those are my. What's, what's the third one? I hear. Black Museum with uh, Sh- uh, Shuri from oh, yeah. Black. Yeah, a lot Panther, of people uh, give that one shit. Right. A lot. I like that episode. I like that's, that. It's, it's a pretty... fun story of Penn Jillette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, did he? Is, is he involved? Did he make that episode? No, no. He wrote. He wrote the uh, short story um, <laughs> regards to um, the one where I remember seeing his name. Yeah, the guy had the guy likes to um, eat, eat, uh, the implant the doctor to feel the pain. Oh, the pain, right, right, oh, right. Yeah, that, yeah. Was that was the word of his. And he's right. drilling himself and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, That That could have went... I, I, I saw it coming. That was the only problem I had with that episode. They could have went way farther with that. A lot of people hate well, they, that episode. I love... I a lot really of people don't like that one, too. See, I like know, the ties a lot together, and I like that. Yeah. I've been telling my... I've been telling people that... Uh, because the people who got me in the Black Mirror, they haven't seen every episode. They like kind of pick and choose. Mm-hmm. And I burned after I watched the new season. I need to watch good Black Mirror episodes again. So I went, went back and burned through some of the good yeah. ones, like the one with. Uh, See, I Penny forget. Carter I forget about fucking and White Bear. White Bear is in my top. White five, Bear is dark. White, white Bear is fucked up. 
fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But Crocodile, I think to me, in terms of writing and its simplicity, it just for some reason it like I was like, this is really well done. Like this could have been a fucking movie where it just keeps getting worse and worse. And I watched like people break it down, like, you know, when she kills spoiler alert for Crocodile, I guess. Uh, whatever, it came out like four years ago. Uh when Andrew Riceboro kills her ex boyfriend in the in the in the hotel room, she kinda like grabs onto him and won't let him go won't let him go and like that's how she kills him like a fucking crocodile like they were fighting all these little fucking things like man this fucking episode and the fact that that episode of all the episodes of black mirror is the one i think that pulls the least amount of punches because you're thinking she's gonna half step she won't kill the spoiler alert, baby yeah she's gonna fucking kill the baby she won't kill the girl who's begging for her life no nah, she's gonna bash her with a fucking head with a piece of wood and- there's no Punches pulled in that that's fucking episode. Like. I, at yeah, all. I, I like the dark. So dark. The dark. Yeah, because yeah, what was that season two or season three, Crocodile? I think that was three. three. I think that was three. Because a lot of people were giving a shit about like, oh, this this show kind of a lot. And there there are episodes, like the playtest one. Uh oh, it, oh, sorry. You know what's you know what's sneaking in my number four? What kill hey, uh shut up and dance. Holy I like fuck. I like Shut Up and Dance a lot. That's another good one. Shut that's Up and Dance is fucked that's up. A, that's fucked up. Fuck, that's another dark I mean, ending. But yeah, that's a really dark <laughs> ending. Um, like Braun and uh, Braun as the fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. There, no, yeah. there's a fucking no. It's it's that's what I'm saying. Like this new season, um, problem not number one. Enough. There's only three episodes. Yeah, problem but, but two, you did have Bandersnatch. No, I don't count that. I don't count that. You don't count Bandersnatch. I, I want to watch. I don't want to interact. Bandersnatch was okay. I like Bandersnatch oh, for what it did. It did something it different. But don't take away from the season. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't make that it's like, oh, this is practically three three episodes. fucking episodes here, and then you only have three episodes there. So three episodes that were eh? Yeah. I season one to to the last season prior to this season, I mean, almost every episode I think is fantastic. Honest to God. I think it is top of the line quality. This season wasn't really there, and you only got three episodes. It, yeah, the best performance I think Matt nailed it is in Smithereens. That, that was, I mean, oh yeah, definitely performance wise. Yeah, yeah, Mackie's episodes. It's it's probably the most out there one. It's the most right? out there, but, but it's the most I can see like a thing happening soon. Yeah, this is like a okay. Like this is it, something that's get, happening soon. Like we're gonna the like Cyrus uh, one. I I liked. A lot it was of okay. It was it wasn't bad. It was just like I, all I right. like the like, fact that it was kind of fucked this, up in a way of like harvesting shit from people. Which, right, but you know, it's like it's like play me the song. It's like, ah, well, let's turn down it by just uh just two decibels and then click yeah. uh, the accelerator. <laughs> and it's like yeah, yeah, that, too easy, too easy. And it's like to do what ah, they're come doing. Come on, guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, really. That seems that seems I, like a cheap so, something very cheap that like these shitty writers would do. Not something that black mirror or whatever yeah it it's it seems like the most like oh well let's one put miley cyrus in here and then let's her let's have her essentially singing a fucking nine inch nails song the entire fucking episode because well, usually you usually <laughs> yeah. after i watch an episode like a really good episode of black mirror like i can't you gotta take a fucking like, shower after that you like think, play, you uh you hang the dj i was like f- like i had to and, that, and the, the, the funny right, thing about that right, episode yeah yeah the funny thing about that episode was Spoiler for Hang the DJ. Well, Hang the DJ was kind uh, of like an uplifting one. No, it was, it was no, 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 no. Hang the one. DJ was not an uplifting one. No, hang, no sorry, you're talking about Shut Up and Dance. Shut Up and Dance. Shut up and, sorry, that was fucked up. up. Shut Up and Dance fucked me up for about, I know, a day. Because I didn't understand it until after it had ended. Because so I'm sitting there, I'm like, why won't you just tell everybody he jerked out? Who gives a shit? Like, after, this is after the movie. And then I realized, oh, shit. It didn't even dawn on me that he was a pedophile. Like, I didn't. Yeah. It didn't click to me. And then I started replaying the episode in my head with the little girl in the restaurant. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, when an episode does that, <laughs> you got good fucking writing. Where I had to fucking, like, pull it apart. Season, at, like, yeah. 10 minutes after it ended to figure out what the fuck was going on. Season one through four. Yeah. It's not one bad episode. The, the one that slept on, I think, for me anyway, uh, undercover one, is the one with... Um, uh, the, the Twitter with you kill people with the bees um, with Benedict Wong. Yeah, I forget well, the fuck. I, yeah, it kind of ends like Silence of the Lambs. That's why I like. I know, it. I know. I mean, if you want to talk weak, yeah, definitely one of the weakest ones. Because I like that so episode. much more. 
I like the mystery a part of it where they're trying to figure out the killer. So. But it's not, it's just compared to Crocodile. First off, Crocodile, I think that's directed by John Hillcoat, who's, uh, you know, yeah, the road and everything. Yeah. That, that, if, yeah, that, yeah. if that came out as a movie, it'd be like a fucking. I would, dude. Yeah. I, I, of all, I'm trying to tell my, my sister who has got me into the show, she has seen like the big ones, but she has not seen that one. I'm like, Trying to tell him like you need to see yeah, crocodile. There's some it's episodes that people crazy. like. I even thought about doing that myself after watching that episode. <laughs> killing people, just yeah. killing random people, just yeah. walking around and easy. Day. I mean, they got. A, I mean, they had a good idea going on of that. Holy shit! Yeah, they, just if you want to talk about the one that had the episode that has the biggest balls, it's probably that and shut up and dance. Oh, sorry, yeah, shut up and dance. I think that that one's they don't give a fuck about any type of. Well, we can't go that dark. Yeah, no, they yeah, don't like no fuck. norms or anything. I say, like, go well, fuck it. We're gonna. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're gonna go there. The thing is, what I guess what I think about what that the series the series has become more like Americanized mm. and safe uh, with some episodes. Like you, you look at like the Bryce Dallas Howard one, which is still. It's, I haven't seen that I, one yet. It's, it's a fun episode. It's fun. No, right. It's a fun episode. I think but, it's more of a Netflix as opposed to an American thing. Right. <sighs> I, yeah. I had to, I had to pick between watching that and the one with uh, Peggy Carter, and I picked the Peggy and Carter good, one. That's which a I good was... one too. The Peggy Carter one is oh with the doll yeah. with the um the the, yeah, the, 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 the dead boy yeah, yeah the dead boy they're all great yeah. <laughs> except for the season <laughs> season was just like good. I, I watched I, I watched it backwards I watched like another three episodes yeah right yeah, it's not bad I watched well, like, I watched like I, I think I have a to go dark but it kind of bitched out in some of the aspects of it it was like yeah. how, it was like let's go kind of edgy but do you really want to see like an episode with fucking like Anthony Mackey who has played Falcon in Marvel movies now playing in the in Black Manta yeah <laughs> banging yeah, yeah. you just like do you want to see two like comic book characters like having fucking Anal well, they didn't even. If they were gonna do that, they should have again. Yeah, they didn't. Went they, all they, the way. They, they, the, they have to. From another it. Marvel movie, it was fucking Mantis and the fucking <laughs> Asian, other Asian dude fucking, and it wasn't even Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Yeah, guy, the power, yeah exactly. So instead of, <laughs> instead of them two guys fucking, they have them fucking. I'd be fine. They, uh, I'd be fine. Spoiler alert like, for everybody who hasn't seen fucking this year, this season of it's it it, it the, yeah. I watch. I think I have a higher opinion of the episode, the season because I went backwards. I saw Miley first. Huh. Then oh, you started I, from I think the I saw I, dredges and you kind of worked right. Yeah, I, I saw Smithereens last, so I was like, okay. I think I saw it in order of like a, ascending probably, order of yeah. goodness. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Miley Cyrus one. They should have just like had her die and. You know, I thought yeah, that was, yeah, that's what they're going to do when they when she pulled the plug. I was like, "Oh wow, they're really going for." Her. And, and my sister was explaining to me because we watched that episode together about how this is essentially Miley Cyrus's actual life. This is what hap- actually happened to her. Where every fucking, Disney every was trying to make her do, life, yeah. yeah, Hannah Montana and uh, whatever the fuck she is now. And uh, what's the other, other what's the other name of the other girl that? Uh, <laughs> the other blonde girl that was on Disney. We were just talking about Raven Simone oh, earlier. They said all those Disney girls. They Hannah Montana, that, they, Selena Gomez, uh, blonde chick. She, uh, oh, Ashley Tisdale. Remember. One of them. Yeah, yeah. She was saying that literally happened to all of them. So this is kind of like uh, a commentary on their lives. Well, and I was like, yeah, enough? we got that from <laughs> not seeing this episode. We, we see McGuire. We, Lizzie McGuire. Oh yeah, That's fucking what what's her name? Lizzie McGuire. Jizzy McGuire. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jizzy McGuire. <laughs> but yeah, uh so your top three, Matthew, you said was you said White Christmas. No, it was, uh, was no, uh it was uh Metalhead, White Christmas, and National Anthem. National Anthem and Justin, you said Callister. Uh, no, well I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily Say that was my. I'm just. I was just trying to think. I was just trying to tell you my favorites. Uh, mm. I honest, uh, good episodes. I favorite wise, <laughs> national anthem. The I would say crocodile. I put crocodile Crocodile's there, great, and then um, think about national anthem. Was, they tried to make Rory. Rory, uh, what's his name uh, from Skyfall? And yeah, yeah, Bond. Yeah, fashion. they tried to make him like a. They, 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 I think they should have not made him an asshole. I, it seemed like if you watch that episode again, they're trying to make him an asshole. So when he has this horrible thing happen to him, you don't feel as sorry for him. Because I don't know, he like he's a, fucking a pig a, in the ass. I don't know. But he like attacks that woman. And it's like out of nowhere. Like, why are you yelling? I mean, like he like grabbed her by the throat. I'm like, yo. Well, what? hey, if, if you were like one fucking step away from having a fucking pig in the ass, I'd probably be a little pissed off too. 
Well, that's why he but had a kick in the ass because he was an asshole. But I mean, I think it would have got even more. It would have been even more of a commentary if he wasn't an asshole and he had to. Like do he's this. too nice. I think that's a little too much to ask. Because if he's a piece of shit, I don't give a fuck if he's fucking like picking ass. But if he's not a piece of shit and he has to do it, that's why. But that's I mean, why shut up and dance. Like, fuck him in the though. ass. Fuck him in the ass. That's why shut up and dance got me before I figured out what it was. Where I was like, this guy, this kid, he didn't. I, I didn't, didn't see that he, he was, he was just masturbating yeah. porn. But what kind of? And I was like, damn, his whole fucking life got destroyed because of masturbating the porn. What is it? And then I realized, oh, he's a, he was he was what they kept saying. I it just went over my head. Yeah. And it kind of it didn't dilute it, but it was like in that moment when I was watching, I, I really felt for him. And then. the that had the tables turned on me when I actually figured out what was going on. I was like, oh my God. But in National Anthem, it's like, oh, he's just a dick. <laughs> and then his wife, who's mad at him, I'm like, why are you mad at What do you want him to do? <laughs> I don't understand. Like you've they never, you've said, never fucked me like that before. <laughs> but they're like, if we don't do this, they'll fucking, we can't, get, we, you won't be safe and they'll fucking come after you, come after you. So what does his wife want him to do at that point? Do Die with what she wants her to get attacked. Like that part was a little bit iffy. The episode itself, the scenario I thought was really. Well I like the fact just... that this was an episode that people would watch the first episode and say, "I'm not going to watch any more Black Mirror." <laughs> it will if you're that, not that, if you're not on board with that. I fucking love where it's like <laughs> I if you're not on board. <laughs> yeah, if you're not on board after a man fucking a pig in the ass, you are fucking. You're out. done. You're done. So you're done. I like done, that's son. why that's number one for me because this. It, that episode scared people away. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you fucking, you fucking, you fucking like Justin's mom calling him. You fucking pussy. <laughs> you won't jump. You, you won't jump. You won't fucking pool. watch episode two. You fucking pussy. I'll watch episode. <laughs> I watch season one through four every. I mean, I could watch every episode between there over and over. You need to make more of those. I'll never. Watch doesn't doesn't season five. Doesn't okay. It's fucking. It's, fucking <laughs> it's true. No. Sorry. It, didn't Disney just buy the company that owns uh, Black Mirror or runs or makes Black Mirror? I don't know. Do they? Did they? I mean, I'm, 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 I want to be fucking up. shocked if they did. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked either. That was the guess. Jesus Christ, that makes me worried because and, and, you know I don't really give a shit about Disney buy shit. I'm one of the people who don't care. But uh, fuck my shit up though. That show is so dark. It pushes the boundaries so much. I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think a major conglomerate like Disney would let pig fucking continue <laughs> or crocodile continue which they really bring back I mean, bring back fucking touchstone pictures then right jesus Rated touchstone, our disney films. touchstone pictures had balls <laughs> touchstone pictures and they, they own die balls. hard now so mm. oh god oh no and that means we won't have another die hard from so that's that, that i'm not no more diehards is, is uh, obviously not disney will never make another die hard movie that's a good thing john mcclain's joining the avengers you know that uh, we're going to take a break and then we're going to do a play game. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Tim Costa. I'm Hermano da Silva. And this is Walter Vinci. And together we are the First Time Watchers podcast. Each week we choose a movie to review that none of us has seen. Watch it together. And then discuss. These movies could be new. Or old. Or on our list of shame. You can find us on iTunes by searching for the First Time Watchers podcast. As well as on Stitcher. And we love interacting with our listeners, so if you have any suggestions, send us a tweet. An email. Or post to our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. That's right. I mean, it's all about interaction. And talk about what we love. Movies. And you don't have to worry about us going on and on about this and that and the other. And oh, no, look, no, let's no, no. talk stop, about stop, this stop, minutiate Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And shut up. I wonder shut who the cat can God watch. damn it, shut up. I think that's enough. Oh, God. Go by the credits. This is Miscast Entertainment with your hosts, William Davis Moore, Greg, and JJ. Every week, these misfits will make it their mission to bring you irreverent entertainment reviews, entertainment news, gaming videos, film-inspired food and drinks, fun facts, and more. Now, get your ass over to YouTube so you can absorb this shite into your brain meat through your eyeballs. We are Miscast Entertainment, and we are here to amuse you. Time for a segment that, for all intents and purposes, doesn't hold water. It's Simplistic Submarine. 
Simplistic Submarine, this is the game in which I take turns throwing out a choice of things to Matt and or Justin, and they each have to guess what the other one has chosen just by how much they know them. It's kind of like the dating game, but like with explosions and shit, all right? So I'm going to say a choice to Matt, and then Justin is going to guess which one Matt picked and vice versa. Whoever gets three right guesses first wins. You guys ready? I don't care. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How's this game played again? Here we go. You'll, you'll get it. All right. Hmm. I'm going to say something to you, Matt. Don't say your answer. Just get your answer in your head. Just use my head. Yes. Okay. Be truthful. Be truthful. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is best? Beverly Hills Cop, 48 Hours, Bad Boys. Get your answer in your head. What, Don't say anything. What, is, what is best? I got it already. What is the be What is your favorite of the three? Beverly Hills Cop, 48 Hours, Bad Boys. Keep it to yourself. Don't say like anything. What Don't am I anything. basing my best on? Your opinion. What do you, what do you think is better? Best film? You got, you got to pick one DVD out of the rack. Which one are you picking? Beverly Hills Cop, 48 Hours, Bad Boys. Well, Keep it in your head. Don't say okay, anything. Well, here's here's the thing, though. Um, mm. Bad Boys. Is it the, the Sean Penn Bad Boys when they <laughs> beat people with soap? Or... <laughs> Or the one with the, <laughs> the the movie that was originally supposed to have John Lovitz and Dana Carvey. The 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 John Lovitz Dana Carvey one. Uh, <laughs> do you have your answer in your bar, your brain, Matt? Uh, tough decision. I know it's tough. Forty eight hours, Beverly Hills Cop, and Bad Boys. Yes. All right. Let's go. You have your answer. Yeah. Justin, what do you think, Matthew? Pick this is best. I believe he's putting a banana in a tailpipe. Oh, Matthew, are you putting a banana in the tailpipe? I am not. I am. Oh, miss, miss. I am. I am. Uh, we're gonna be a couple of bitches in the sea. Uh, <laughs> Bad boys over Beverly Hills Cop in Forty Eight Hours. Wow. You, you really pick Beverly Hills Cop, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Well, he thought that. I'm he not, thought I'm that not you your friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Justin. Here we go. I was, I was basing this strictly on uh, the the bad guy from uh, uh, Fouchette. Is the only reason yeah, you Fouchette, pick bad boys? Fouchette. Because he had that cool gun at the end. That gun that had like four barrels in it or something like that. Remember that gun? Do it! Kill me! Do it! Like, he kill me! The, <laughs> he does the Do it! at the end. Do it! All right, Justin. Here we go. What's worse? And Justin, I'm going to say this to you. Keep it in your head, Matthew. You have to guess what Justin's going to pick. All right. I'm looking at him. I'm looking to look him right in the eye. Look him right in the fucking eye. Right in the here old we go. fucking brown eye. Right in, the, right, in the, right in the brown eye. Here we go, Justin. What is worse? What do you think is the worst film of the three? Casper, Haunted Mansion, Tomorrowland. Now Justin's like is a hard egg to crack the, the here because his taste. The worst is, movie, huh? The worst of the three, Justin. You have? Do you have your worst of the three? I do. <laughs> so he got it quick. That's a good hint. That's a good hint. He got it quick. Let me ask you a question real quick. Yes. I think is the worst movie, or technically you. is the worst. Movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You. What you think? You think it's all about you? It's all about him. It's all about you. Mad about you? Gotcha. Mad about you, baby. Do you have your wrong or correct <laughs> correct wrong, opinion? Yes. My what's correct. Your wrong, wrong ass opinion. opinion. <laughs> Do you have your answer? I'm writing it down now, Jack. He's writing it down. He's writing it down. Matthew, are you ready to guess what Justin Pick is the worst oh, of the three? Oh. Casper, Haunted Mansion, or Tomorrowland? Oh, he's, oh, he's got it written down he's, in the oh, back of his hand. He's doing his psychic fucking... Psychic. Matthew's doing psychic Call me psychic now! <laughs> Theo! 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 <laughs> Matthew, are you willing guess, to make your guess? Guess who's coming to dinner? Fire your torpedo, Matthew. Dreadlock. Fire your torpedo, Matthew. What do you think? Cock locked and ready to rock. We're going with. Um, let's go with the haunted mansion. Justin, what is your answer? It's got trannies in it. Haunted mansion. Oh, he got him! Hit, 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 hit. I you mean, tech, I, mean, I, I mean, you hit me. Te technically, it is very bad. Just. Like, it's, it's I, thought, I thought you were going to go Tomorrowland. Not, not, I, thought, I swear to God, I thought you were going to go You know, I was watching Tomorrowland the other day, and I actually liked that movie. When? Yeah, tomorrow? I don't like, I don't... <laughs> I 
I don't like the, the fact that George Clooney's banging a little girl. I, I don't like that banging, part. Banging, that banging, a little, like, banging a little girl? He had a, he had a romantic love interest who was 20 years younger than him. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Like in the movie, uh, I, I missed it. must have been on the uh, deleted scene. That's kind of, yeah, well, he didn't bad. really technically bang her. Okay, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, wasn't, he was like a robot or something. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but he Real, fell in love with her when he was a little kid. Sex and is acceptable. His feelings because, are the same. You know, it's very uncomfortable. It's dude, very uncomfortable. I, I'm, I identify as an android now. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is going to be personal for Justin, but Ooh, he doesn't personal. get to pick. Mm. It's personal for Justin, but he doesn't get to pick. Matthew gets to pick, and Justin has to pick what Matthew picks. Here Ooh, we go. Man. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. I am What's, it. What is best of the three, Matthew? It's one nothing. Matthew's winning. Inception, The Prestige, Memento. What's the best? What is your favorite of the three? The best of the three for you. You alone. You alone make this decision. You alone. <laughs> you. Well, I, I got I to gotta take this off. Okay, I got to talk to the people up here. They're talking to people. He's, he's consulting. He's consulting with people. He's consulting. He's thinking about them. He's, he's talking yeah, to his yeah. lawyer. Yeah, he's nodding his head now. He's, he's scratching his beard a little bit, which is weird. He might have some lice there. He might have to get some of that fixed. Uh, maybe get some uh, that rid. I think it's called it. Rid. <laughs> uh, oh no! Now right. he's sneezing. He might have an allergy. Okay, he's back. He's, he's, oh, no, I was just licking <laughs> something. Um, right. Do you have your answer? Do you have your answer? I do. It's in my mind. Justin Palizzi, are you willing to guess? And fire your torpedo at what Matt picked? Yes, I know. I know. Best? I know, John. Do you know the answer? You know the answer. Oh, what is your answer, Justin Palizzi? It's uh, mm, I forget. Mm, I wrote so. it on a post-it note somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Memento. Ooh, Matthew. Of the three, which one did you pick? You must know I have a condition. But <laughs> yes. Oh. Got it. See now he's now now he's playing the game correctly. He's playing the game correctly. It's one one. I'd have picked Inception, but that's I still uh, <clears throat> knowing what I know would have picked Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. It's one to one. I need two right? black lead actors, not just one. It's true. All right, Justin. The judge. Pick your favorite of these three Muppets, Gonzo. Fozzie the bear or animal? Pick it. Put it in your mind. Put it in your mind. It, Matthew's going put to put it decide. in your mind hole. Which Muppet would you put your hand under and make their mouth talk because you love them so much? Gonzo! What Muppet would you put your hand you, up their ass? Which Muppet would you finger bang? Mm. Gonzo, Fozzie the bear or animal? Already got Do you. Shit. Have you. You already oh Matt, Justin's ready to go. Justin's ready oh yeah, I actually ready. thought about this question before. He's many many times. This is a this is a frequent question on the mind of Justin. He racks his brain every week thinking of which Muppet he wants to manipulate through their asshole. Matthew, what a coincidence! Which, so do I. <laughs> do you think you know what Justin's answer will be? Mm. Matthew's kind of pondering. He's pondering now. He's pondering. He's thinking really heavily. We have a weirdo, a comedian, yes, and yes, yes. a drummer. A drummer. A man. Drummers a are manimal, really weird. A manimal, if you will. A manimal, if you will. Yeah. Hmm. Waka waka. Waka waka. Tomatoes. Or do you, or do you fuck a chicken in the ass like Camilla? <laughs> Camilla. Do we, have chicken, do we have chicken fucking, tomato fucking, yeah. or drum thumping? Or Drum thumping, hey, you know, drummers get the girls. I hear Janice, the whore of the Muppets. Janice. Damn it, Janice. I mean, honestly, that is a Muppet that has an STD. Uh, guaranteed, guaranteed. I mean, just look at her. She doesn't play an instrument. Look at her. She, look at her, her eyes. Can't even open. Look she at got her syphilis. fucking lips. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ones on her face. Goddamn right. Pussy deuce cocktail. <laughs> um, we're gonna take this to. Waka Waka Town. Friend? Waka Waka Town. Waka Waka. Matthew has picked Fozzie the Bear as his answer. Justin, would you please tell us what your favorite of the three Gonzo Fozzie or animal is? Mm. Drum roll, please. No. Drum roll. Oh, he went animal. He animal. went animal. Miss. Animal. Miss, miss. I love my women. Woman. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. So known Matthews better. missed. Still tied up 1 1. Again, another one personal to Justin going to Matthew. Justin has to what pick. What the fuck which is one. your problem? I, what is so I, fucking <laughs> personal? Here, huh? It's all personal. This game is personal. All right, here we go. This time it's personal. Your favorite of these three, Matthew, 80s films Breakfast Club, Risky Business, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Matthew, consult your brain. Talk to yourself in the third person, maybe. And sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it. <laughs> Justin now, he has to now he has to get a psychic link what do you want me to between do? his brain and Matthew's brain and pick out where he will fire his torpedo. It's almost like he's it's like Star Trek Nemesis when Troy had that psychic link with Tom Hardy's character. Okay, okay, and okay, she had to use the this, Oh sorry, it's a Star Trek. Oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. That never happened. So Matthew, do you have the your answer? The answer is in the brain. Justin, are you ready to fire your torpedo? I'm firing something. What are you firing? Hopefully a fat fucking John Hughes sandwich. That made you, <laughs> Ferris? Ooh, he says Ferris Bueller. Matthew, is that the correct answer? He's drinking, he's drinking, he's drinking. He's putting his glass down, he's swallowing. He's, he's sighing. I'm going to take a stand. Yes. Oh, he's doing it! Justin has made a comeback. It's two nothing. He picked Ferris. Justin oh, has come back. I thought you would win Breakfast Club there. I could have swore it you was in my mind. Time. The hot beef injection was in my mind. Mm. Well, so very good one. quality films, but let's be honest. Ferris. But honestly, it's, it's Ferris. And per, it's first of all, and second of all, too many white folk in Breakfast Club. <laughs> There's no, there's no black people in Ferris Bueller. There was, there was, oh, wait, no, no. Woke. The, they, yeah. the guys who steal the car, the guy, which is yeah, pretty guy, racist. Yeah, there's one there. guy, he's a car thief. And then the people that are dancing during the uh, actual German festival are a few black yeah, folks. Yeah, that's true. that's true. John Schnepp was in that scene, actually. A great John Schnepp. Uh, here we go. Justin, are you ready? Yes. Yes, Matt. Yes. Justin, oh, he's, talk, what he's talking you, to me. Justin, what You're would you rather talking to me? see? What would you rather see in the theater today? You have a ticket. You can pick which auditorium to go into. One showing a Goonies sequel, a Beetlejuice sequel, or a Willow sequel. Which theater are you going in? Get in your mind. I believe there's only one logical option. Oh, wow. He's got it in his mind already. Look at this. I got it in my mind. In his mind's eye, I watch Matt shoot me the two and the pink one and the stink. <laughs> the old, this is going to be a real shocker here. The old, the old, the old weird Spider-Man move. Uh, <laughs> um, Matt, do you have it in your mind, Jess? I uh, uh, Goonies sequel. I do I got it? I got it. Beetlejuice sequel. I got it. Will Will Willow sequel. Yep. Je Justin has it in his mind. Matthew, fire that torpedo if you will. Like Marlon Brando fucking <laughs> Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Mm, that's something I'd like to see on the big old silver screen. Hmm. Yes. Let's go with the. You know, we, we we did a lot of you know talk about Russian people co-opting white people's characteristics. So right. I feel like it's only right for mm -hmm. a, a Beetlejuice sequel to be seen on the silver screen. He fires a Beetlejuice torpedo. Justin, is it a hit or a miss? It's a, hang, it's a hit. It's a hit, Frank. Two to two! I mean, honestly, two to two. it's a Goonie sequel, and no. below, I think we've already told that story. <laughs> that shit. I want to see Bad Mardigan. Beetlejuice we could go somewhere else with. He could. That's true. Nice fucking model. Willow, you aren't great. Okay, here we go. Matthew. Would you it. really want to see a fat Mad Mardigan? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? A we big, see fat, juicy Mad Mardigan? <laughs> you are fat. You, uh, you really are fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Matt, Justin could win with this, okay? <sighs> could. Next point wins. Big I got to pick a good one. Here. I got to pick, pick a good one. I got to pick a good one. Big time. 
All right, here we go. Oh, this is a ooh, this is a good one. Oh, I can't pick this one because I know what Matt will pick. Uh, well, th- 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 everybody doesn't mean Matt. Justin knows what Matt's gonna pick, unless you're mm, unless you're d- just unless me. You're it's it's too fucking feeding him. Unless I'm Marlon it's Brando, too, it's too fucking easy. you, it's Richard Pryor, in the ass. <laughs> it's too easy. Okay. <laughs> what Pornhub video right. would you prefer? Best cinema vampire, Matthew. Best cinematic Kiefer vampire. Sutherland Ooh. in Lost Boys. Oh! Pee Wee Herman in Buffy the Vampire. Oh, Slayer. that's a good one. Or Stephen Dorff in Blade. Oh, that's a... Uh. <laughs> There's only two? Best cinema. No, Kiefer crazy. Sutherland in Lost Boys. Uh. Pee Wee Herman in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Or Stephen Dorff in Blade. Again, there's Matthew. only two? <laughs> Matthew, you have your answer. Think about it. Take your time. Take your I know. Time. Take your time. <laughs> He's in a vampire pose thinking about it. <laughs> it's in a casket. What we do in the shadows. Great television show. I never got to talk to about uh, talk about it when I was on the air. It was an amazing TV show. Watch that. Do you have your answer? I got it before he got it. Oh, got wow. It. oh wow! He's re- he read my mind. Uh huh. He, he well, accepted you. Well, let's see if you know what I thought. I went, went there. <laughs> Keith Sutherland. He went Keith Sutherland. Lost boys. What, Matthew, what, would, what, what was would your make answer? you think that? Because he's Keith or motherfucking. <laughs> he's a designated survivor. Sutherland. Do you pick? It's Lost Boys. Kiefer, did you pick Kiefer Sutherland now? So, I have to say, join us, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy saxophone player is losing his mind. It's a hit. Do, do, do. <laughs> I have been in this man's minds and man, I have seen things. <laughs> He's Words in my mind. He's been in my bed. Children could not hear. <laughs> Parents could not speak of. They're, they're maggots, Justin. Legends. You're eating maggots. You're eating maggots, Justin. <laughs> this has been Simplistic Submarine, a segment that sung faster than any of us would have guessed. All right, Matthew, give everybody your information. Oh, oh, well, before we go, you know, we, uh, yes. we talked about television shows earlier on. Yes. And we, we really only concentrate on one of them. I saw a really great comedy. Uh, honestly, yes. it, was, it, it, it was actually like really great. Um, it was called the uh, Democratic Debate. <laughs> So it was really There's funny. Old kooky it was guy. super funny. Had this guy who was you should, not you to should be have saw it. It, it, it was probably one of the most dynamic comedies oh. I've seen in a long time. Laugh. I mean, right. it, it, it's it, Parks had, and Rec, it had old, it had old debate, white guys ripping off Veep a little bit, but it's it still had, pretty funny. You know, uh, Latino leads. I mean, they they did so much for the comedy genre. <laughs> slightly, yeah. I mean, I think his name was Beto or something. Um, it it was great. It was great comedy. You know. I bet oh he don't win. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet. I mean, but the, the only problem with it is, is that they, they they canceled it after two episodes. That's what that was kind of the depressing part about it. So, you know. But yeah, it was great. It, it, Along it, with the country. Yeah, but yeah. So anyway, so yeah. So uh, this is Matt from Simplistic Reviews. Um, you can catch all of our awesome, cool stuff. Uh, down, make sure you, you're downloading this podcast uh, if you're if you haven't already. Go go back in the archives. We have a well over a hundred episodes for you guys to, uh, you know, see how, um, see how much we've progressed as damn near uh, a thousand, people. damn near a thousand minutes. You could listen to this thing forever, practically. Um, but you know, if you don't want to listen to that, you know, you can always go, uh, to the, to the website, simplisticreviews.net, or you can go on to Twitter or you can go on to Facebook or you can go on to Instagram. Twitter is a uh, at sample tweeters and, Facebook, just type in Simplistic Reviews. You can find our stuff there. Go on Instagram. Go to Simply Gramming. You know, you can, of course, download the podcast like I uh, said before. I think I feel like I just said Porncast, but it's not Porncast. It's the podcast. Uh, go on to iTunes or go to Stitcher or go to TuneIn Radio. Um, you know, 
we're we're still working on a few other things uh, on Patreon Spotify. and Twitch and Spotify and everything else in between. If you want to send us some some really bad, hateful emails, uh, you can always uh, send that over to contact at simplisticreviews.net. Um, what are some other funny things we've had going on here recently? We got you know some pot, some uh, new. Um, Movie commentaries coming out soon. Got some new stuff. Got some, some great, great new stuff. Be on the lookout. Yeah, and we got a few interviews that uh, that uh, I was lucky enough to uh, uh, do with a few people. The, those were a lot of fun. You can find those on the yeah. YouTube channel, or even uh, download those into. Uh, into That's a your, journalist now. I'm a journalist, He's man. A journalist. I'm a journalist. He's Bob Lee. I'm 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 <laughs> like uh, I'm like Spiro Agnew crossed with uh, Steve Bannon. Nobody knows who any of those people right? are. <laughs> <laughs> with with with, with a dash of Alex Jones and uh, Sola De- oh geez. and uh, <laughs> and uh, so- Sola Dead O'Brien and uh, those kids aren't real and uh, and uh, Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Rachel Maddow. I, I mean, my my hair actually looks a lot like Rachel Maddow right now. So. What a dish! Mm. What a dish! <laughs> what a dish! I don't think you can say that well, anymore. Dude, what a di- yeah, no, I mean, I yeah. Sorry. What a, what a what a great, great journalist. Great. Now we're like off the air. Okay. Uh, well, for uh, Marlon Brando and uh, Richard Pryor, I'm Russian Michael Keaton yeah. saying. <laughs> I feel like it was more like Marlon Brown Eye. It's, it's, it's showtime. <laughs> it, it's showtime. Give me your ankle. Your ankle, no, bro. I wanted to say one more thing. Yeah, of course. Go say ahead, it. Justin. I think it's the time to say mm. it. Go ahead. Did yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Marlon Brando fucked Richard Pryor in the asshole. <laughs> yep. We don't know if it was vice versa. We don't know. Yeah, who fucked who oh, first? Oh, I we know. We don't know who was given and taken. We have no idea. I know. How do you know? I was there. You were there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. We got another journalist. Find out <laughs> in the next episode of the Simplistic Week. Reporting from Richard Pryor's asshole, this is uh, Justin Pelosi. I'm deep in the asshole now. I can't really make out what's going on. Wait, that dark. looks like Marlon and Brando's penis. It's a very sweaty apartment. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. I wouldn't call this episode a triumphant return. More like a failed comeback. Even more like an embarrassing stumble back to the forefront. Maybe even a misjudged miscalculated mistake in which we all who have listened have paid the price a price so high it likely will have cost our very soul needless to say our valuable time this podcast is a proud member of the lamb podcasting network find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com like i said i wouldn't call it a triumphant return